Hall fell in love with my first guest when she lit up the screen in such films as Sixteen Candles and The Breakfast Club. She's now appearing on stage in the Pulitzer Prize winning play, How I Learned to Drive. Please welcome Molly Ringwald. <laughs> It's great to see you. We worked together before. Yes, Just we have. Just a short time. We did Politically Incorrect together. That's right. Yeah, and I enjoyed that. Me too. I enjoyed that. You're very, you've got, you've got opinions. You're very, <laughs> but no, you're a very bright girl. You know, I had just seen you in, in, in movies. Uh-huh, and, and I thought, thought you assumed I was a dummy. No, I just, it's always surprising <laughs> to see what's behind the role, uh -huh. isn't it? Yeah, I'm, I was kind of scared doing that show. Why would you be scared? Well, that was the first time I, I've ever done a show. I mean, you usually do shows like this, right. you know, where you just sort of talk about, you know, Fluff, you know. I mean, not F fluff. We're going to well, talk I about mean, your life. Not, <laughs> you want to talk about like fluff? Like I said, fluff. Yeah. No, but that was like, you know, you have to talk about politics on that show. And right. It's, it's a little scary. It is. And plus, I was going against these uh, these right wingers, and I'm right. not a. But you held your ground, and and you should be very proud. Now let's talk. Thank can you. we talk about a little fluff here? Sure. I was reading, I was reading <laughs> your background, and I read something that kind of threw me. It said that you wanted. I, I was going to ask you if you've always wanted to be an actress. And when I was looking into your, your bio, it said that you wanted, as a little girl, to be a black jazz singer. I did. <laughs> what little girl doesn't? <laughs> and then I well, love you, because I don't know if you know a lot about me. I wanted to be a uh, Chinese folk dancer. <laughs> <laughs> right. yeah. well, why, why would you want to be a, a black jazz singer? Well, because my father's a jazz musician, and right. I grew up around jazz musicians. And, right. and that's the kind of music I like to sing. And uh, Well, there you are. are you and singing that's my jazz? dad. And that's your dad behind you? Yeah, he's there, and he's in the other picture, too. And are you singing jazz? Yeah. Wow. But where'd you get that picture? God. Um, we just rifled through your personal <laughs> belongings. <laughs> um, yes. Yeah, so th those are the people that I admired the most. And so I thought when I grew up that that's what I was, you know, m I was magically going to turn black and, right. you know. And be a jazz singer like Bessie Smith. And, like Bessie Smith, and who probably Fitzgerald. wanted to be, uh, uh, you know, a red-headed actor. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> now, you actually recorded an album, didn't you? I did, when I was uh, six years old. Six years old? Yeah, a jazz album. <laughs> That's so... <laughs> With my dad's band. And where is it? We were trying to get it. We can't well, get it. Well, there's not that many left. And I actually am thinking about re-releasing it um, as a children's book, as sort of an introduction to jazz for kids and get it illustrated and put pictures in. And um, Because it's a really wonderful introduction to jazz and kids don't really know that much about jazz. Yeah, so. jazz is not introduced to, to kids. So, that's, so yeah. are, are you going to pursue music? I know you're writing the book. No, no. I mean, I'd love to do a musical or something, but I'm, I'm really more of an actress <laughs> now. Right. And where do you live? I know you're, you're doing the play here in town. Yeah, at the do Mark you, Taper Forum. Do you live in, in Paris? I live partly in Paris and, and in New York. Really? And How? a little bit here. I sort of shuffle around a lot. Because I saw when you were doing talk, talk show, I guess it was a couple of years ago, you moved to Paris, right? I did. You had, you had a, a hiatus there, or what did you do? You did a movie there, and then you decided to stay? I did a movie there, and I, I fell in love with Paris, and, and in love with a guy who I'm still with, and um, so I decided to stay there. A Frenchman? A Frenchman. Really? Yep. Now, do they French kiss, or is that just, <laughs> is that just something we have here? Um, Why do they call it French kissing? I don't know. I, I, I never really thought about it. Why do they call it French fries? I don't know. I don't know. know. Are they better well, you know, in Paris? Well, they don't call them French fries there. What are they there? They have pommes frites. Pommes frites. Yeah. Which translates... Fried potatoes. Fried potatoes. Mm -hmm. Oh, but the, the French is, is gone. It's like Canadian <laughs> bacon. I have no idea what that yeah, is. Yeah, what's that about? I have no idea what that is. But we don't have, we don't have Canadian kissing. French right. kissing is important. And you guys, are, you guys have been together for a long time now, Almost right? seven years. Almost yeah. seven years. Yeah. And do you speak the language? I do. Fluently? Mm, oui. Wow, that's impressive. <laughs> and why didn't know better? Mais est-ce que tu parles français, toi? Tu es canadien, il faut que tu parles français, non? Un petit peu. Un petit peu, yeah. yeah. Well, you can talk about Peter the dog. Right, I he told you backstage. I was backstage dog, talking yeah. about uh, that I learned, I learned Fran uh, French, but I can't really speak it. I learned, <laughs> Ici on Parle Français was the name of a book. And they, uh -huh. they taught us a story that has never come in handy. Oh. And what, uh -huh. is it, what, is your, what does your boyfriend do? He's a writer. He's a writer mm -hmm. of b uh, books? Books and, and magazine articles and stuff like that. And great love letters. And, oh, wait. Really? Is it, uh, is, it, is it very romantic? I can't imagine <laughs> living with a, uh, like a French person. You would think, because in the movies and everything, it's very romantic. Is it? Is it's, it? Yeah, it's pretty romantic. Are they romantic than, than American guys? 
Well, he is. Really? I, I, I don't know. He's the only French guy I've ever gone out with. So, you, you really? know, judging from him, yeah, he's pretty romantic. Because somebody like me would just send you a poupette. I would imagine <laughs> a French guy. <laughs> what is that about, those it's things? A, That's pretty gross. It's a box of poo. <laughs> But you know what? It doesn't matter what it is. It's a thought that counts. And if you give somebody poo with love, That's it right. means the same thing as a dozen roses. <laughs> now, this play that you're doing. Yes. Tell me about the play. How I Learned to Drive is a, is a wonderful play written by Paula Vogel. Right. Uh, it won the Pulitzer Prize this year. And it's a story about a woman, 35 years old, looking back on her life. Um, right. About a relationship she had with her uncle. A very complex inappropriate relationship. An inappropriate relationship with her uncle. Mm -hmm, uncle and Peck. this was a transcript taken from uh, Jerry Springer? <laughs> <laughs> Could have been. <laughs> Written with a little more grace and yeah, delicacy. Right, that. and you and every night you have to get up and, and do this. Mm -hmm. Every single night. Like, But here, I do this every day, but every day it's different. You have to do the exact same lines every day. Do you ever, does something ever go wrong? Uh, yeah, it's an hour and a half long. It moves very quickly. I never leave the stage, so wow, it's, it's a really lot of work. yeah, it's very exhausting. Um, but yeah, things things are different every night. But that's what's exciting about the theater. You have the audience, and it's a to different a show different because of the audience. Everybody reacts differently. And are we going to see a movie soon from you again? Yes, there's a film that I did called Killing Mrs. Tingle, which is uh, written and directed by Kevin Williamson of oh. Scream fame. And Dawson's Creek, wasn't he? And did? Dawson's Creek, right, exactly. Right. And uh, it's with Helen Mirren and Katie Holmes, who's the actress in Dawson's Creek. So when that comes out, will you come back and talk to me? I'd love to. Okay, Molly Ringwald, ladies and gentlemen. You can see Molly in How I Learned to Drive at the Mark Taper Forum in Los Angeles now through April 4th. Next, Busta Rhymes is coming your way. So